SHOT Show 2015 coverage is brought to you by SSAirsoft.com, Georgia's premier indoor CQB field and pro shop. Hey everybody, SHOT Show 2015 floor coverage, and I am at the Action Sport Games booth, ASG, and looking at their newest, this is a prototype offering out, it is the CZ Bryn 805 rifle. Now, this is what, like the first version they have out here. This is the one they have, it's prototype, and this is gonna be their Pro-Line version. They're gonna have a couple different versions. I'm gonna go through kind of the features real quick of what is gonna be offered on this, and a sport line, which is going to be a more affordable option as well. So, starting in the front, you do have a short barrel on this one. They're going to offer a long barrel as well. So, you have an A1 and an A2 configuration, just like the real 805. The top on the Pro line is CNC metal. Now, if you see here, it is shiny. They haven't decided on the color quite yet. So, we may have see a black rifle. We might see a tan one. Could be who knows whatever color it is. They're going to probably stick with the color that is offered in the real 805 as well. So, moving on, of course, you got rails at the bottom, top, all the way across the side. And uh, moving to the Magwell, I'm going to talk about this one next. The Magwell itself has, like, oh, obviously the special, unique mags to the 805, but they're also going to have a Magwell that works with regular NATO Stanag. So regular M4 mags will work right inside of this gun. So if you guys don't want to have to make the investment for the ultimate realism into the special magazines, no worries. You can actually get the Magwell adapter, and it might even come with it. We're not sure yet. We're going to find out if it's going to actually ship with in the U.S., the actual NATO mag well or not. They're still working out the details on that. So you can actually run regular M4 mags, which I'm so excited about because as much as I love cool guns, sometimes it's kind of a pain to make a big investment into new mags. Moving on back, Fire Selector, you've actually got, if you guys have been watching the teases they've been doing, there's the drinking bird right there. On this one, they just have safe, semi, and full. They are kind of considering putting electronic control unit in this one on the Pro-Line version and giving you that two-round burst like the real one has as well, and a metal trigger. Mag release is right here in the front, of course, drops the mag very similar to the way the Evo is set up. And then of course, moving on back, the stock. This thing is fancy. I mean, super fancy on the stock side. It's a adjustable cheek rise, it does fold to the side, and it comes back, and the stock is removable. You hit a button, slide it right off, just like on the Evo as well, and you can bring this rifle down to something a little more manageable for CQB if you didn't want to have the stock slung over to the side. So flipping it over to in this thing out, you do have the bolt here, and actually it works, it reciprocates. This one doesn't have the spring in it quite yet because it's a prototype, but it will actually reciprocate when it fires, so you'll actually get that nice clanking action as well. So overall, this thing has a lot of external features. Internally, it will have a quick change spring system, which I like as well, so you'll be able to, just like the Evo again, pop the back off, access it right from the rear. No disassembly at all to get to that quick change spring, and then on top of all that, it will have a battery access in that same area as well, so the battery access is up in here, and ASG will be making a custom fit battery, so you won't have to worry about trying to track down a crazy stick battery. But most like AK type stick batteries should fit inside of this receiver too. And of course, a gun is not the same without the accessories, and what they don't have here is something I'm super excited about, is they're gonna have the grenade launcher, the one specifically designed for this, the undermount grenade launcher, which will fit here on the bottom rail. You'll be able to bolt it on, no problem. And then, what's also super neat about it, is you can take it off, this stock here, when you slide the stock off, you can put this stock on the grenade launcher, and you can have a standalone grenade launcher you can run around, independent of this gun. So. You can ditch the stock, put the grenade launcher on it, now you have a separate launcher, and then you have the rifle itself, so you kind of get two things out of one. Now the grenade launcher will be sold separately. So, release time, pricing, not quite sure on this, they're still working out all the details. Like I said, there will be a Sportline version as well, with the metal upper, it may not be CNC, it's probably not going to be that to keep the cost down, but we'll have a lot of the other the same features, and it probably won't even have the electronic control system, but all of that is so you can get something really affordable and get into it, and then you can graduate to this, or if you guys want the premium thing, you can jump right into it. So guys, if you're interested in this, keep your eyes peeled. Development cycle's kind of out. We're hoping to see it in 2015, but might end up dropping early 2016. I don't know, I've, I've been trying. They won't give me any solid answers on it. But just stay tuned, guys. This is the big news coming out of Action Sport Game Booth in 2015. It is the CZ Bren 805.